guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Basilius into the Roman Empire campaign here as Byzantium in EU4. Uh, last episode was a good one. We took some land here, took some land here, um, uh, beat up on Austria, broke his alliances, beat up on Savoy, beat up on Genoa. Honestly, we're having a really good campaign here, and our force limit is looking really nice. Naval force limit, not so much, but we're building tons of buildings to keep that up. Manpower is looking great. Our golden era has been super productive for us. Um, I would like to get to work on these conversions, but I really don't know when that's going to be super possible. So when we finish influence, we'll be able to do that. So I'm actually going to wait on that because between... So here, here's uh, some cool stuff. In, in, a lot of people don't know about culture conversion. Why can I not convert this one? Oh, because it's building a church. So you can see 10% from the golden era. Innovativeness. Fully religious gives you 25, and if the culture is adjacent by land or sea, it's an additional 25%. So then, if we can get that extra 20% from the policy, we'll be able to get this for like 30 some, you know, and it's really good. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're kind of waiting on here. We won the siege here. Let's just uh, work our way up to Pest. Let's go ahead and recruit a general. Um,. So the Admiral we got is better. We got the blockade. I think I'm just gonna stick with him. We're gonna get rid of this guy. He's better for the trade fleet, but I'd rather have military generals. Nah, not too concerned about the uh, any of those sorts of policies. So the only province we're taking here is this, and then maybe this one since we have a claim on it. What would it take to like take all of Wallachia? Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Psych. So you are going to be giving us humiliate. Eh, we don't need to humiliate him. We have a large PP, but we will take all of his money. Why not? You know. Pest is gonna go down soon. Poland has a succession crisis, and so does the Palatinate. Poland hates me, so there's no chance he's ever gonna marry me. Understandable. I did just. Quite literally ruin his ruin his country. So we won this siege here. There we go. Carpet siege. Won the siege of Pisht. There we go. Carpet siege him down as well. Got lots of rebels as well. Not doing him any favors. There we go. Oh, that fort's going to take all that back. I'll take innovativeness. Let's actually have you guys keep a small stack over there. That way these forts don't all go falling back down. If we can win this fort, we're going to immediately peace out. He's, he's dead. Okay. Let's go ahead and win these two over here for a little bit extra of that war score. Beautiful. Might as well get a little bit of prestige if we can as well. So he can end his rivalry versus Poland, I guess. I don't care. Free prestige, though. Awesome. So we will go ahead and just increase the autonomy here. Don't care. Let's go ahead and get you guys. So this is a full stack. So let's get you down there. And this is our half stack. So let's get you guys down there. Malta can be converted. Ragusa can, but it's super expensive. So let's go ahead and just rip it out as quickly as possible. Quite expensive. Check out how much money we're making from war reps. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> That's actually nuts. All right, cool. So we're not warring right now. We are going to let everything get sorted out here. Uh, I guess I'll just state Ragusa. It's fine. Hungary is now no longer a valid rival. They love to see that. France and GB. Well, I'm never going to go to war with GB, but I might ally France. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. I probably should ally... Hmm. They're allied. Whoa, 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 wait. I thought they were rivaled. Huh. Do we have a royal marriage with them? We do. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll hang with them until at least until our royal marriage breaks. Okay. So. Oh, I didn't realize Lika was, was hungry. That's fine. 
When's our truce up with them? 35, so we got some time. Probably should get those guys replaced with regular infantry. I think we actually have a larger combat width as well now. So 27, so let's go ahead and go up to 23 here. We can switch to mercs as we need them. If we have the manpower, we shouldn't be spending the money on mercs. Make sure we're building as many of these as we can. It's going to save us a lot of money in the long term as our combat, or as our um, total will go up. Also, we're going to need to bring those guys home. Put you guys there. Looking good. Looking good. Aegean Archipelago. Oh, I should probably consecrate some Metropolitans if I can. Let's see, is there any... Hmm... No, not really worth it. These are all just too low of dev, right? 25 dev. This one's only 28 dev. So we should probably build a couple of... Invest some dev over here. Certainly into manpower is fine with me. That's only 39. 39. Let's go ahead and consecrate that metropolitan now. Patriarch authority is already maxed. What do heck? Well, let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> printing press will be here in a few years, but we need a different icon. Improve relations and AE impact, but I don't, hmm, I guess we'll just stay with what we're at now. Okay. Do -do -do. Yeah, we're doing great. We still have a net positive after investing 21 ducats a month. Dude, we're rich. We are rich right now. So go ahead and get a um, production efficiency. Sounds nice, but uh, we already have a level three Diplo guy. Is he half cost? He is. We definitely don't need to be focusing mill anymore. Matter of fact, we are going to switch to Diplo. Our air is. Decently rounded. Um, let me see here. Prestige is fine. I don't necessarily care that much about them. Production efficiency would be helpful, but not that much helpful. So, this is still going up by 5% a month. So, I suppose we'll just go with the prestige guy. It's fine. Might as well get some extra admin as well. We can certainly afford it. And we're good. We're good. Central Anatolia. So we might be able to snipe that province in a couple of cores for Syria um, in this next war. The only problem is, is not, not co-belligerenting the Mamluks is gonna be painful. Mecklenburg, huh? All right. Said I wanted to vassalize this guy as well. Let's go ahead and befriend him. Give him some free monies and all that stuff, right? So does he have a debt? They have no debt, but I can influence him for four ducats. Go ahead and ally. I will royal marry. He's Protestant. That is so funny. I love that he's Protestant. And it's not even the province religion. That's so funny. Alright, let's go ahead and... Give you a gift. There we go. I think transfer trade and then military access to the last little 20% that I can get from him. Aside from improved relations. There we go. There we go. Transfer trade. Doesn't share any trade power in trade node. Oh, that's fine. So I guess we're just gonna wait then. For a few months. And 
The Gian Archipelago is a decent state. Might as well state it up, right? We're super far ahead on all of our admin, so I guess it doesn't hurt us. Converted Malta. Chios has missionary strength because it was recently switched to Protestant, I reckon. No. Maybe it was recently. Yeah, it has zeal until 46, so. Gotta have some time to wait on that one. Oh, look at that. That's the reason why we're making so much money anymore. We're back up. We're hardly paying for our fleet anymore, so we don't even need to have these guys mothballed. Nice. But we can, and we should, spend some money on getting some extra sailors as well. Sailors are going to be really good for us because we are losing a lot from protecting trade. And if we want to make our galleys go protect trade, which we should, and we will, we're going to need... Okay, very good. We are so rich. Isn't it crazy to think that just a few episodes ago we were bankrupt? in a different campaign. I'm very happy with where things have been going. Look at this. It's, it's been 80 years, or 90 years, and here we are. Obviously, you can expand a bit more than what I've been doing. You know, a lot of people will say, hey, I would have done this faster. It's like, well, yeah, but I'm also trying to keep my borders pretty. <laughs> Try to make it look at least somewhat presentable. If I wanted to zigzag through steel forts and like really min-max what I'm doing, yeah, you can do that, but who cares, man? Have fun with it. EU4 should be fun. You shouldn't just be always so analytical and going straight, you know, sitting there autistically scribbling down on a, a Excel spreadsheet or whatever. And that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that playstyle. I'm definitely a faster playstyle guy. It's definitely my, my preference here. So, <clears throat> we'll see here. We can do this easy enough. Mamlux will join. Don't care at all. My navy just protecting trade over here is going to be plenty to get him kicked out. Let's go ahead and have these guys all march down. Very good. Yeah, hey, look at that. Just me alone has almost more men than them. Double their cannons. So, I'm kind of past the point of worrying about um, the Mamlux anymore. Though I do have a bit of you know, post-traumatic stress from the ass-whooping they put on me before. <coughs> that was quite disrespectful the way they treated me in the previous part of the pre previous section of the campaign, but... You live and you learn. Let's go ahead and invest a little more dev into manpower. So Kosovo was depleted, apparently. I didn't even catch that. Hmm. It's fine. We don't need Kosovo anymore. In fact, I would uh, prefer to just not have it at all. <laughs> so I don't have the inflation, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and get you guys grouped up again. Caraman's up there sieging down Trebizonid. 45-day siege ticks like a boss. Go ahead and hang out here. See if we can... Oh, let's just barrage the fort. See if we can get it. Lucky 14. Nope. Have them protect trade for the month. Have them back. Have them protect trade for the month. Min-maxing, but... It's good for the, uh... Good for the monies. So our commandant has died. Not commandant, like I've always said. Caraman is done. Let's go over here. Actually, siege down you guys instead. Won the siege of a cell. See if we can kill off his navy. Didn't take anything, but that's fine. Protect trade in Aleppo. You guys can go ahead and go home and repair. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. See if we can get a good fight over here. See if we can get a morale. Hey, I love me some morale. Can certainly upgrade to level two. Realistically, we should upgrade to level three for both of them. 
Should be a stack wipe, I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and send our guy up there to reinforce, just in case. I want these. Yes, perfect. Now these guys are going to come in and get stack wiped for their Thulkadir. Very good. Let's go ahead and have you guys come on down here. Start sieging down the Mamluks. Same with these guys. Have them head on down. This is our siege stack. So let's go ahead and have you guys come over here and like... Reserve some manpower, right? So... I'm gonna need the Siege Down Cypress if I want to take it. We're gonna full annex him. That's a lot of aggressive expansion. We have permanent claims on all this. <sighs> I would like to take Cypress so I can finish up the... Uh, this one. It's gonna be tough. We'll see. Let's actually go ahead and have you guys... So that is... Put you guys there as well. Let's have you guys transfer over. Wait, what? Yeah, not, not quite what I was looking for, dude. Let's go ahead and have you guys come over here. <laughs> Have you guys go out there, drop off those guys, siege that fort down ASAP. Lithuania has gone bankrupt again. <laughs> yeah. If I do recall, they were literally bankrupt like a minute ago. So, Poland has gone bankrupt. What the heck? Sheesh. Bohemia is allied to Poland. Not something you see every day. All right, so I suppose I could piece these guys out. Might as well just you know, take as much prestige from them as we can. Long truce is good. Transporting some trade in Aleppo to me. Me likey. Alright, winning sieges against the Memluks. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool fact for you, spending points on to barrage forts actually costs less during a golden era as well. All power costs. So our truce with Venice is up. And I'm going to be proactive and see if I can get them to not join the coalition. <clears throat> hmm. So if I weren't in this war, I could do it. <clears throat> we'll see. I'm gonna see. As soon as I take Cyprus and this al Karak, I should be able to piece him out. I might have to siege down Cairo as well. Sorry guys, I got a little bit of a frog in the throat. Never lucky, man. He's sieging back stuff over here. Feels bad. There we go. We won the Siege of Cyprus. I can't take it. <clears throat> I could separate piece. Oh my gosh, yeah. No. No Cyprus today. But what I can do... <clears throat> is I can white piece the Mamlux. Or just have him, you know, annul his treaties or whatever. Muscovy has lost his... Uh... Oh, is he Russian now? Very good. So if we win a 71%, we did. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's come on down here. Get you guys to... Uh... There we go. <coughs> Goodness gracious. So let's get you guys over here. See if we can kill off that 13 stack. They're in the highlands, but it shouldn't be an issue. Very good. I don't know how the Mamluks have high enthusiasm, but uh, it's fine. Let's take some money from them and piece them out. I want to have a short truce with them so I can attack them. <clears throat> yeah, we're good. This is fine. And then uh, full annexing you.
Beautiful. And our name gets larger, and we can core it all up. It's all correct. It's all the correct culture. It's just not the correct religion. So let's go ahead and actually have you guys group up. Yep, in Gaza is fine. Have you over here in a cell? Ideally, we would take Cyprus, but there was no chance. Crimea. <coughs> oh my gosh, guys! I'm sorry. Hold on a second. <coughs> ha! Much better. There we go. Let's go ahead and vassalize Georgia as well. Devil went down to Georgia. Oh, they're not at peace. Hmm. <laughs> Who are you attacking, AQ? Oh, they're allied to Dalkadir? Man. That's okay. We can start annexing the start the process of annexing him. Eventually it will start. No longer a valid rival. Interesting. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and make sure we're not ever gaining any corruption, ever. Albania can be stated, but it's a poopy province, so I'm not going to do it. Let's go ahead and get more sailors. Let's also make sure we are protecting trade in Aleppo. And we should realistically be steering from here instead of Crimea. Let's actually go ahead and have you guys protect trade in Alexandria. So that way, even if it's being steered here, we're going to be the primary driving force here. So we're going from 20.1 up to what? 23? Eh, it's comparable. I feel like I could probably be doing a little bit better, but I have my entire fleet over here protecting. Okay, we're about to break even with our uh, sailors. So a couple more buildings there and we'll be good to go. Oh, good. Um, I don't care. You can have that. That is your land, my friend. The people are pleased, he says. I wonder if I can get some monies from them. Sounds good to me. So these forts are all pretty good. These forts create a fort line here. Those forts are all good. Okay, we don't need any forts. Might as well build a couple more shipyards. Here we go. And now we wait again. <laughs> Eat that event, man. Yeah, they're just gonna be mad at me. Can't do anything about it. Whatever. It's a dumb event. Truce with Austria has ended. They're not gonna join any. So when's our truce with you up? Not for a long time. So I'm not at war anymore. I wonder. So let's see, if I were to declare on him, Russia wouldn't join because he's poor. Castile wouldn't join because of my Diplo rep. Okay. So is my Diplo rep just really bad because of my overextension? Okay, it is. So I want to say that this gives an additional 20 reasons. Let's see, before I go doing anything dumb. Yeah, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and spend those points. Um, and let's declare war. Bohemia and Castile will join in. Bohemia will take out Aragon, which will be nice. Um, I'm not gonna take anything from him, unless I, no I can't, cause he's he's got a truce. Salzburg, Verden, Friesland, it's fine. Bohemia will handle, what, Burgundy, hopefully? Bohemia is the emperor, I believe. Yeah, so. I just want this one province from Venice. It's really all I want, so. Go ahead, call them in, declare the war. What's his navy look like? Not as good as mine. Let's make sure we have our navy upgraded. No, they're not. Damn it. Hmm. Let's get them grouped up. I also need to make sure that these guys are like not chilling over there. So let's get you guys marched up. 
we're gonna be fine. I'm not gonna increase the autonomy there because we're gonna get rebels no matter what we want to do. So, it's fine. Sixty ships. Hmm. <clears throat> Think it'll be more important. Do we have a shipyard? I'm about to do something extremely risky here. Oh, they're chasing me. <laughs> we want that faster repair tick. Oh, that's funny. It just pops out this big old fleet jump scare. All right, regardless, let's get you guys marching over there. Hopefully, uh, you know, this could be a goal I set for Bohemia. Castile can siege down Valencia. And, uh, Huesca. And that should be fine. These guys will be ready to roll here in a few months. I feel like that only went up a little, very little bit. Bohemia's still the, uh, Emperor. So that negative three modifier is gone now. So we're gonna actually start making progress here. Yep, very slowly but surely. Okay. Well, that's actually okay with me. Definitely not gonna take it this far ahead of time. A little bit of innovativeness is always nice. We lost our statesmen. That's okay. As long as we can get another one. Um. That's okay. See how the fleet's doing. Okay, a few more months. Let's uh, have you guys come up here. We're going for Dalmatia, that's our goal. Apparently we're gonna have to go defend Bohemia because he's getting full occupied by like a goofball because he's got all of his men down here. I feel like that is going, why is it only going up by 6%? Jeez, man. Hungarian noble rebels destroying my country. This is farmlands. Should be an easy win for us. We outmorale them by a ton. Very nice. Let's go ahead and just send our guys over this way. Look at all those forts. What in the world? Bro. Overkill much. Our heir, Helena, is a zealot. A zealot. <laughs> we are now maxed out on mill points. Rather than taking tech ahead of time, I will spend some points to get more manpowers. I'll do Hick. Right, let's get you up there with a... Uh... Who do we have over here? Is that Alexio? Sergio, so let's go with Alexios over here. Burgundy is the big one that we need to piece out. Apparently, Aragon sieged down Castile's capital because Castile is quite literally worthless. A couple months till we can get you guys moving out of there. They are going to be devastating a lot of my lands. I also don't need any of these edicts over here. I'm losing money from doing that. This one is going to be, these two will get the edict, but as we try to convert that, but that's fine. That will be in due time. Next month, we'll pop these guys out. Should be able to stack wipe their navy, if anything. Super strong. that repair tick. Beautiful, dude. Look at that. They've lost 35 ships to my one that Castile lost. <clears throat> I totally don't need that Navy, that army down there. They've been sitting down there for a long time. These guys are suppressing. Very good. He's about to lose Prague. <laughs> dude, Bohemia. It's all right to defend your own land, man. Your own land, man. 
go ahead and state this all up. I don't know about full stating. Do I need to? Far enough ahead on tech that it doesn't bother me. Let's go ahead and do it. Get some uh, missionary strength over here. Get that all switched over. To the correct religion. Let's go ahead and get over here. The sooner we can see Jana's capital region, the better. Um, blockade on impact. Blockade impact on siege is always a good one, but it's very, you know, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. <clears throat> Institution spread might be useful. It's fine, whatever. Don't think, aside from this uh, war score cost versus other religions, I don't think there's any particularly appealing bonuses for the age. A lot of men. I'm already declared war on them. Hopefully they don't get annexed. If Georgia gets annexed, I'm going to be quite sad. So they lost their capital. So I imagine they're going to peace out soon anyways. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Hopefully they're separatist. 24k, we can handle that. He lost Prague, and now he's being sieged down by Protestant zealots. <laughs> Bohemia, man. I'll never understand the AI in this game. So this has been a long, long episode. Hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to show your support. Leave a like, 300 a day, and we will continue the twice upload, twice daily uploads. Subscribe if you have not already. And uh, if you want to check out the Discord or the Patreon, links are in the description down below. With all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.